the best niche to make your first hundred thousand dollars in 2023 i will be going through what niche you should pick why you should choose that niche what products are winning in that niche which markets to advertise in and lastly how to run facebook ads for those of you that are new to the channel my name is ramtin i'm a seven figures e-commerce entrepreneur i started my dropshipping journey around one year ago and documented my entire journey to hundred thousand dollars from day one now let's hop on the video the best niche to make your first hundred thousand dollars is fitness niche that's right this is the best niche to choose and get into in the beginning of 2023 because of the new year resolution and high search volume on google which can be shown on google trends market trends can help you identify how the market is doing trends allow you to see the interest in a certain topic over time when analyzing trends for a niche it is vital to study the interest over time if the interest fluctuates a lot of periods going down to zero it normally would be a bad sign however if the trend stays up and is stable or growing it could be a good sign for this video i will be analyzing the topic fitness and gym then i have to set the location worldwide and filter it by the past five years so we can see the difference each year in the same time and now we have a few things to observe from the graphic that you can see here on the screen number one it shows that both fitness and gym are trendy topic with a lot of interest over time and you can see here the both of them around the same time have picked number two it consistently sparks straight after christmas you know the new year resolution and here you can see the interest by region and you see Denmark is second place. This country is mostly overlooked by a dropshipper because it's a small country in Europe and people speak in completely different language than English, which makes it harder for them to advertise in and sell. Since they don't speak the language and are too lazy to find the translator and the solution in order to be able to advertise in that country, which is why it is one of the greatest countries there for selling especially for this niche now let's talk about what makes a product a winner in the fitness niche unique fitness products this means a product that hasn't been seen that much before and a product that solves a problem but i know you might think how can i find such unique product you don't need to find a really rare product all you need to do is find a competitor that is currently selling this product or have sold this product before or even last year at the same time because someone can sell it in the last year you can see the process like around what time the fitness products start to basically coming in in the ad library and once you find the website you can analyze and see how your competitor is doing it so you can replicate the process and do it in a better country which we just saw was Denmark number two is the product that can't be found easily in fitness stores right and the three is the product that has a good creative which will be key to success in running ads number four convenient fitness products that can be used easily at home this will give you a broader audience which will help you with the scalability number five we have the fast results which is one of the most important selling posts in any fitness product or service and if you pay close attention to how fitness related ads are done you will see that all of them promise results very fast since everyone wants to get rid of the fat fast or gain muscle in the shortest period of time and last one is the product should be user friendly now we're gonna go through which market and demographic you should target for the best results sell only in european countries as i have said millions of times eu countries have less competition and less saturated audience and this is one of the most important reason of why you should start in eu countries and when your product works you start to see a lots of profit then you can bring the product in us market and crush it there as well why because if you start in us market and follow the steps that i have told you to follow you will 100 percent also have a winner there but once you start to get some results other dropshippers that have more money and experience than you will sell your product as well and they will take over then you will be left with nothing but if you start in eu this will not happen because none of them or most of them 80 percent of them are not active in eu country and once you scale your product in eu country and gain some experience and money then you can bring your product in us and scale it there without being scared of the competition 
Age ranges should be anywhere from 25 to 65 years old. I recommend choosing a product that is a low ticket with high perceived value. This way you will make lots of money because you can 10x the product price and have lots of good margins. Now how should your ad creative be? Focus on the prospect's promise to themselves, which brings us back to the new year resolution. Show testimonials. This will give you more credibility. You can get the testimonials from your competition videos or you can make them yourself. All you need to do is go to below.app or Fiverr and hire some influencers that matches your demographic and pay them basically to make you some videos. Focus on the key benefits. This is very important because you need to understand to sell the benefit, not the feature of the product you need to sell how this product solves the problem that our prospects have instead of telling them what the product is made of or where it come from now let's see how to scale the ads in 2023 so what I would recommend you is after you have found the product and went to all of the steps that we just talked about now is time for you to run your Facebook ads okay so how to run the Facebook ads for this niche or basically any niche that you choose to run ads for in 2023 so i would always recommend you to start optimizing for conversions right but you will not start in cbo i would recommend you to start with the abo the reason behind that is at the beginning your pixel is new you don't have any data and after the ios update basically all of the data that you get half of the it get tracked so you need to really double down on the testing and really listen and see your metrics to see and what they are telling you so that's why i'm telling you to start with the ABO the reason is that you will decide the budget and you will tell each interest to spend the certain amount of the money to get certain amount of data out of it in order to make your decisions you will start always the next day 3 a.m. so for example if it's Friday 2 p.m. you want to run ads you, you don't run your ads on the exactly like 3 p.m. Friday or something like that because Facebook will spend your budget about of how many hours in a day is left and if you start your campaign on 2 p.m. Facebook will be spend everything basically till 12 p.m. because you're already in the middle of the day so you will not basically send your budget throughout the day because you have less amounts of the day because you already started in the middle of the day right so you have to make sure that you start like basically 3 a.m. the next day and the location will be the one that listed on our previous slides which will be Denmark the age you will basically target from 25 to 65 I don't really mess with the age that much but if I see my competitor are using older demographic I usually go for the older one but at the beginning testing I usually go with broad right the gender is both but that can be your product that you're saying can be only for women or men then will be separate right the language will be native a European country language depending on what country you're selling in if you're selling to Denmark that will be Danish and for the interest you can exclude dropshipping Shopify or ecom right and the interest that you will be choosing for your product that would be like the interest that is really close to the product that you're selling you don't need to just go into it that much because it really doesn't matter all that does matter is your creative guys no matter like how many budget you get like how many days you run it if you have a good creative it's going to work so i can give you even an example for example if you've been testing physical fitness as an interest right and it doesn't work for you and after a while of testing you find a good creative that really does work for you and after you find that creative if you test physical interest again which didn't work for you before with the new creative that you have found that is winning i promise you physical fitness basically will start work for you because you have a good creative now how will you set up the rest will be interest as i said fitness related like physical fitness one interest per ad set you can have up to 15 ad set and that's just a recommendation if you have 20 you can have 10 you can have five that's just up to you about like how fast you want to see the results right faster you want it more interest you test so micro interest only since you don't have the data as i said before so you can choose the interests that have low population like into them right because if you are selling in european market all of the interest such as physical fitness you know health and wellness all of these have 200 to 300 thousand into them so you can just choose them because all of them are going to be micro because in european country we have only 5 to 10 million in population depending on which country you are in so after that you can use the suggest interest if you choose one of the related fitness interests right and after that the budget will be 
between 100 to 50 dollars i would recommend 50 to 100 dollars then you can turn it off after one to two days but if you want to be 100 percent sure after three days right but if you're running a budget on 50 dollars to 20 dollars you need to let it run at least to three to four five days you know to get the good decent data guys and that also depends on your product budget and now we have the creative how many creative you should have i would recommend at least three creative for ad set because you need to give facebook as many options as possible in order to facebook to give you the best result because facebook will test everything with every demographic and every age and will give you the best result for the scaling and the amount of lookalike audiences you need for video view 75 percent you need at least 10,000 to 25,000. for 95 percent video viewers you need at least 20 to 40,000. for view content you need around 11,000. add to cart 3,000 and purchase 4,000. i know these numbers was way like less before but with the ios update and facebook not tracking anything you need to just get as much data as you can on your pixel before starting like lookalike audiences for example for the moment for the brand that i'm running lookalikes doesn't even work for me and have tons of data but it varies from ad account to ad account so i recommend you after getting this amount of data you can just test it on and see if it works for you or not and how would you set up this lookalike audiences right i would recommend you to go zero to one percent right one to two two to three three to four four to five and if this audience which is the closest audience to your basically lookalike work then you can go to five to six six to seven seven to eight eight to nine and nine to ten right but you can test different variation for example maybe you can test zero to two percent two to four percent but i would recommend you start with zero to one one to two because you don't want to spend that much of the money at the beginning when you know when you're not sure product maybe not work right in that country or at that time so i would recommend you to go slow way and if it works for them you can scale it in different metric and the country will be only one country you'll have five ad set one percent per ad set as i said before cbo daily budget will be around 120 dollars right point 29 cent and why did i put that 29 cent is because facebook is a auction based platform right so if you bid more you will win and most of the people do 50 dollars 20 dollars 100 dollars 120 dollars 150 dollars but when you put that extra 29 cent you will win over all those people that put 120 dollars only right so that's the extra golden nugget for you guys and what creative would you put there in these cbos is the creative that work the best in your interest testing campaigns right you will find that very soon um which creatives have spent the most amount of money which creative have got the most amount of impressions and that's the best creative for you so this was it for today's video guys i hope you really enjoyed it if you did please smash the like button and comment down below what do you think of this video it really means a lot to me guys thank you so much for watching the video and see you next time